What's going on, guys? My name is Preston, and I am from Exotic Car Blacklist. Uh, the point of this video today is to try to help you guys out with the GTA map loading. Uh, there is a huge issue um, all over the board with uh, figuring out how to get this map to open up and load correctly. Uh, and load correctly is in trying to uh, get the map to not be sluggish. The map is super sluggish when you open it. So with this video here, this should solve this issue for you. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is have the content manager, which is this item here. The content manager is for you to be able to unlock all mods for Asset Corsa Holy. If you are here today, you probably already have this information done, so I'm not gonna go into depth on how to get it. If you are already in the Grand Theft Auto group, in Discord, then you have all the needed links to make that happen. Furthermore, you can go to um, to Patreon, and there are ways to find it. You just go simply, simply to Google, and you can find the content manager. Secondly, you're gonna need CSP, the Custom Shaders Patch. This is also something that you can Google and find online as well. Not gonna go through what that is because if you're here, you already have these three steps done. The last thing you need is the latest version of Soul. So here's the link for Soul. Make sure you join the Grand Theft Auto group. Uh, and that is under gcoffee.com. So gkoffy.com will give you all the links you need to everything that you need. All right, so first thing you wanna do is download the Grand Theft Auto map. If you have not, this is the link to download it under the info tab in the Grand Theft Auto um, Discord channel. Once you download the Grand Theft Auto app, the biggest issue, and this is where all the issues start when you try to play the game, it is super sluggish and loads super slow. Now, you can go through the announcement tab and find everything in relations to the CPU occupancy issue that everyone was having, including myself. But here's the fix to it in the Discord. It, there's a link to it, but you can also go straight to the Patreon page and you can find a link to it there. So here's the Grand Theft Auto release here. Um, make sure you have your extra effects, your extra FX disabled because you will be able to gain a lot of frames per second, which I did. And then once you do that, um, if you want to disable it, let's just go over this real quick. So if you want to disable it, um, you're going to go to your CSP, your custom shaders patch UI. Then you're going to look for your extra FX. There you go. And you see mine is disabled, so it is not on. Also, one of the most important things is to make sure that you're on the best version of CSP and this is the recommended version as of this video 0 0.1.79 is the recommended version um, do not try any of the untested because I can't speak to the ability of those uh, being able to load the map properly so next thing you want to do is uh, download if you're having the CPU occupancy issue you want to download the fix that was given to the group so let's see if we can find it. Here we go. The January 10th, 2024, there was a fix. You click the link there to get you started. There's literally nothing to delete. You just replace the existing files. So what I did was I downloaded it. I open. So you want to always open from the root folder of Steam, because if you don't, you will have another Acetyl Corsa somewhere in the world of your computer and you want to go to your content and you want to go to your tracks and this is where you pull all your links from that's your tracks if you want to pull your link for your cars you go to this link for your cars that's how you pull them as well okay so you want to then download this you're going to extract the cpu occupancy fix which will be GTA 5 fix. I had to do it again. I downloaded it um, and I extracted the content folder into my set of course or tracks for Grand Theft Auto. You see it's right there. So that's how I did mine. Um, and let's say you just wanna 
I don't know, putting the tracks, you can do that as well. I don't see an issue with that, so I'm gonna put it in my as well just because I'm gonna delete it because I have duplicates in there. But even if you want to put it into your tracks, it's not gonna make a difference. It's still the patch is still gonna be there. So you wanna close, make sure you got your extra FX turned off, deactivate it. Then you can go to your um Exoto course again and Depending on how fast your computer is, you may not want to have everything on maximum because then that would, would slow your computer down, slow the loading down of, of in game, will slow the loading down when you're trying to get into the game. You want to turn your details down. I got all mine on max now because I loaded it fine last time. You see, I was running 53.8 seconds, uh, which they say the minimum is 44. So in that aspect, I'm good. And uh, let's see, I think that was everything that I needed to turn off. So there was nothing else past that. Uh, quality, I got my quality on, oh, that's my replay. So that doesn't even matter. I'm just trying to make sure I got all my settings where I need to, right? So you have to go through this and make sure that you have everything, uh, all your specs to where it makes sense for your PC that you're running. All right, so now that everything seems to be fine, uh, one last thing. Okay. Now I'm going to go boot the game up to see if the game worked for me. I, I'm going to add a Toyota Super there because I like to drift around the streets. Um, go to the GTA 5 map. Hit OK. There shouldn't be any triangles. Triangles mean there's something in load properly. Uh, whether that's uh, image file or anything, it could be anything. The triangle doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to work. So then I'm gonna, I'm gonna click go. Once I click go, there is a fairly lengthy loading screen. And it's waiting for the race to end. I'm pretty sure it's waiting on my race to start. <laughs> hey guys, also, lastly, um, here's a little tip that I pulled out of uh reading the release notes on this if you're having issues also with the loading of uh your map you can go into your configurations your extension folder i'm sorry and then you can edit the file extension config lod and you can change it the value to 160 and that's the viewing distance uh i'm assuming of the map loading so Here's how you do that. You're gonna go into your extension, click on uh, ext config, and then you're gonna hit Control F, Control F. You're gonna type LOD. Once you go to LOD, you're gonna change your LOD out. Actually, I'm gonna leave mine at 200. But this is also another thing you can do to help your computer load faster if you have an older computer you can lower this number here to lod out to 160 um, as specified within the discord and also on the page but again for this i'm going to leave mine at 200 and that would also help your pc run this map a little bit faster so once this finished loading you're going to be at the loading screen of the actual game the one of the most important things to do if you um, have a rig that is very similar to mine i'm running an rtx 3060 i think um if you're running anything lower than that uh, i'm running 16 gigs of ram with an i3 then you want to turn your specs down because it is not going to work properly i can tell you that now so again once you start the game just give it a second to let it load because what you don't want to do is jump in early. It's not going to load um, up to speed. You're going to be very dissatisfied with it. So you give it a second to load. And I gave mine about 10 seconds. So my object should be loaded in by now. All right. So once you do that, then let's give it a try and see. Oops, oh, let's give it a drive and see if everything is loaded in my steering wheel is turning pretty fast so that's a good sign 
So let's take this thing for a spin. All right, as you see, we are in the game. Oh, sorry about that. Let me turn my volume off. All right, so here we go. I can't hear my car, so I apologize about that. Whoops. <laughs> no, I didn't say my driving was good. I said the map was good. I'm actually stuck in the map. So that's also uh, some of the things that goes on with this as well is you'll get stuck. I'm literally stuck in the map. So let's restart this session. All right, and let's do that again. So just showing you my car and I'm driving. Turn my volume up one. slow for all the caution you guys do is I would not I personally would not have traffic on this map because traffic would make this map go super slow and we already have a problem with this map so I'm just gonna caution you well. but yeah here you guys go this is how you get Grand Theft Auto to work I hope this video served you well i uh, hope you took something away from it if you did i just ask you to drop a, a thank you comment just so we can get into the algorithm and i just ask you to drop a like on a video um, that's all it takes to get this video out to more people and share it uh, because people want to play on a gta 5 map um, so just share this out and tag someone so it can help them out as well so thank you guys for watching i appreciate it until next time I'll see you later. If you need another, if you need another fix, just reach out to me and if I can help you, I will.